Hi, I'm Andrew Custis, General Manager of Ranger Tugs. We're here in Des Moines, Washington at our factory delivery center, and we're here to show you through a brand new Ranger Tug 31 sedan. Let's go in and take a peek. One of the first things you'll notice is it makes it really easy with these rails that we put on with an easy boarding coming in. Nice, nice big swim platform. You actually have a side boarding ladder and we do that in case you get a, a dinghy option. That is standard equipment, but it makes it so it doesn't get in the way of get, getting on and off the uh, swim platform. We put on rod holders that are actually here. Uh, we have uh, if you do a Northwest edition, it'll come with Scotty downriggers, uh, downrigger mounts and outlets that are there. Uh, propane locker on the back, which is nice. It keeps it uh, out. You get all the, the fuel away, nothing tucked in any compartments. Uh, fuel canister. Uh, if you do, you have a little outboard maybe for the dinghy. It's a nice place to keep it, but also out of the way again. Uh, you'll see uh, coming in, actually, you'll have a uh, switch right with the entry door that comes there you can close keep pets in or you got grandkids you you know want to make it safe for them there is a switch right at the entry uh, here that'll turn on and off underwater lights uh, another standard feature uh, coming in the back you actually have one of our our biggest things that are there is you have these fold out seats that people just love and what it really does is it opens up the cockpit to allow a lot more space where normally your seats would come in. So this allows you to have enough nice comfortable seating area so you can open up that 10 foot wide beam uh, acting like a 12 foot beam when you're sitting down. We have a nice uh, cockpit teak table. It comes standard with the boat on your port and starboard opening hatches. You have tons of room for storage so we put in uh, 12 volt outlets that are right down here so if you're cruising around or again you want more refrigerator space or freezer space you can bring along a portable cooler uh, which is nice and a lot of our owners want to do same thing on the other side just you know wide open storage makes it really easy uh, to be able to get into things but also access which is one of the things I talk about a lot is how to actually get to things so you'll be able to see Again, you know, from autopilot pumps to batteries, there's plenty of room uh, to be able to get around and look at things there. You can do, this boat doesn't have it. It will always come with a cockpit sink, lots of cup holders all around. You'll notice all around the cockpit, which is a big thing for uh, what we like with the entertaining aspect, but you can get an outside steering station here too. So if you're into fishing or want to make it easier uh, backing into a dock or doing those things. A lot of people do like getting that. Over here, we make it really easy to be able to access your main battery switches. So being able to come in, if you're coming in at nighttime and you don't have lights on, you can just grab, turn on that house power switch and all your lights will light up. So you're not fighting your way through the dark. And over here under the back seat, this is really nice because this can just hinge open so if you do have a generator which comes on a luxury model it makes it really easy to be able to access things but if you have a northwest edition like you look at with no generator i can actually get in here and same thing be able to inspect components there's a really nice shelf on the back so if you want to bring uh, extra spare parts or things like that that you want to store that's why we put it there and then as you walk in and come into the cabin, there's a switch here that I can actually do it. So instead of having to manually try to lift that big engine hatch, you just hit the button and it'll bring that hatch open for you to the engine compartment. One thing you'll notice uh, right out right out of the gate is this is the all-new Volvo Penta D4 320 and there's some pretty specific differences to that motor that we can cover later but some of the major ones you'll notice is 
for your seawater cooling. You actually have the cooling right on top through a, a clear bowl. The other thing that you'll note on the 31 with all that extra cockpit space is the engine is fully outside. So being able to get to the, the components on the front of the engine, but also keeping a lot of the wiring and, and things out of that engine compartment make it a really, really clean and nice setup. Coming up top, over the uh, hard top with the extension, we're able to now get that further back, but also have a, a 160 watt solar panel that's up top that you can also have with sport racks that are included where you can carry around your uh, bicycles or kayaks, anything like that. Now that we've shown you the exterior of the boat, let's take a look at some of the features we have inside. In the galley, you'll notice a full stainless steel oven, two burner propane cooktop with an oven that has a tuck away door with a broiler feature inside, which is really nice. One thing that I, I talk about a lot is how much space I have between, and we do an offset galley here so I can stand out of the way and create a lot of walkway room so two people can pass by. You'll notice two stainless steel sinks with the cutting board along with a pull out hot and cold faucet. Lots of room and shelves we build in for uh, spices and different things you'll bring along. Storage underneath the galley sinks, you'll have two big opening doors on top and two on bottom along with Another opening door here that actually has four sliding shelves. You have a microwave that's included as standard. You have a wine cooler that's included as standard equipment. You also have a four cubic foot refrigerator that has a built-in freezer inside that does run on battery power. You'll notice coming into the aft cabin that you'll see the 12 volt breaker panel which makes really easy access. You have a nice bifold door here and a bifold top that create really nice privacy. Uh, you'll have windows down to the, the aft cabin there, along with a day head um, that's there in a, in a sitting area, actually. If you're getting out of bed, you can have a place to put on shoes, uh, things like that, getting ready for the day. Moving on over to the dinette, you'll notice there's a couple really nice things, and really one of its one of a kind. It has a three-person dinette on this side, along with the folding chair that you can have that moves around to the dinette position. The table here, this has a leaf, it will fold open. There's a cup holder that's underneath. The table can actually push down with a really simple latch system. It doesn't take three people to do it. You just push it down and that can convert into a nice big bed as well. Sitting up here at the uh, helm on the Ranger 31, one of the really nice features you'll notice is the curved glass windows with pantographic wipers on each one. You have a really nice pilot house door that make it really easy uh, for access to the bow. You also have cleats we put right outside. So if you wanna be able to throw the fenders out, it makes it easy rather than having to walk around. You'll also have, starting at the back, you have full electronic controls with the Volvo. They're all fly-by-wire, so it's really nice to control bow and stern thruster make it very easy to dock electric trim tabs you have your control station with navigation lights and your horns and wiper controls a garmin four inch autopilot display that does integrate into the chart plotter a volvo four inch color screen display that also integrates tied together with a 16 inch garmin display that will have radar sonar and full charts good for the United States and Canada. You'll also have a VHF radio that has AIS that's built into it along with the heater system that'll run off the engine while you're cruising. Let's talk about some of the overhead features of the boat. You'll have uh, really nice skylights over the top. You actually have with the overhead dash we have storage on each side. We have uh, 12 volt defrost fans for the window. We have spotlight controls uh, to be able to control the spotlight from inside the boat. And we also have a 12 volt TV with a DVD player that folds down nicely in the cabin.
now that we've showed you through the helm and a lot of the salon features, let's take a peek down at our forward stateroom. Coming down, one of the big things that you'll notice is our nice island bed. And the main reason we do that is it has nice walkway room so you're not climbing over each other getting in and out of bed. You'll have a TV down here. You'll have a fusion stereo entertainment system, tons of storage with storage underneath the bed, uh, storage in the closet with shelves, storage around the side here with other cabinets that are there, along with storage that runs around the side of the bed. Over here you have a power outlet along with a 12 volt outlet and a fold down table that you can use to be able to work on a laptop or storage. Let me show you some of the features inside the head. Starting with really nice vessel sink. You have tons of storage underneath the sink. You have a full electric marine toilet, a nice shower with plenty of space. Along with, we have plexiglass panels that you can actually put up and hang around. So when you are showering, it'll keep the water and the rest of the head dry. Thanks for taking a look at the Ranger Tug 31 sedan. For full specifications, please visit our website at www.rangertugs.com.